What's up guys, welcome back to our classic zombie series where we go back and play all the zombies games and maps that I've missed out on throughout the years. And in our last video, we held a vote in our Discord and in that vote, Classified won. So today we're replaying Classified for the very first time. All right, here we are in Classified and it really sucks that I can't show a lot of these uh, intros. Also, shit. I thought I switched the SX out. Oh, well, I guess we'll use it for our first game. Don't matter. But the intro to this map was like a like a spy movie intro. I'm not too sure which what movie or show it originated from. I think I've only really seen it in Archer. But that intro was really cool. It was really fun. The cutscene is sick. Like you, I, I hear a lot of people talking about BO4 like it was some lazy attempt at zombies. But you can really tell there's a lot of love put into this. It might not be what everybody wanted, but it's not like uh, they made it with like ill intent. Like it's really starting to show here. I can see the complaints with uh, the game being a whole lot of remakes. This being a remake of five, I'm pretty sure. I mean, looks a whole lot like it, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of cool. I would have liked to see more original maps because I really like nine, but I am down to play some more five. The music on this map kind of reminds me of Shadows. It's got like the same theme, like the same genre. I'm pretty sure this is where Quick Revive used to be on five. Now it's just Bones that are on fire. Can we go this way yet? Or we need to open that door. Is this like the OG way? It looks like it. All right, well, since I'm pretty sure this is like one of the newer areas of the map or newer compared to five, I'm gonna go this way first. What's going on over here? Oh, a dog rounds what's going on over here. Is it dogs though? Wait, what? Oh, there's a shield part. I'll take that. And let's head on into here. And here's the box. I'm gonna use this right away. I need another gun. What we got? Okay, the vamp anthem. Maybe one more spin. What else we got? Okay, the cap 45, I'll take it. Now, where to go from here? Does it just kind of loop back towards the elevator? Looks like it. Unless we can go somewhere this way. Oh, we have our first perk. We need to turn on power. Yeah, we need to get to the elevator. And this time through, I'll try not to forget that I have a special weapon. So I forgot it for our whole like first playthrough of Ancient Evil. Or like our, our first whole map of it. I'll try to remember this time. Let's head through here and let's go down the elevator. See if I remember how to get power on on this map. Or if it's even the same as five. Oh, one of the most iconic rooms, at least for me. Before like Black Ops Cold War, the only zombie map I ever really played was five. And that was only a handful of times. So I have a lot of nostalgia just for this room. Let's open this up. Is there gonna be another perk machine down here? I'm pretty sure there was a perk machine here on the OG map. Oh, here's the perk machine. Found it. Now what's this way? Another elevator. We'll use it. <gasps> Is our piggy still here? I know that there's a pig on a table somewhere. Is he still here? Oh, he is. What's up, dude? How long has it been between this and five? Does this happen within the same year? Or has that pig just been holed up there for years? Or is this a different timeline and that's not even the same pig? I don't know. Zombie story is confusing. Anyways, let's turn on power. We have a teleporter now. Is that doctor dude still on this map? That scientist that comes up and takes her weapons? So I'll fuck him up. Oh, there's Nova crawlers on here. That's pretty cool. Except they're creepy as hell. I don't fuck with Nova crawlers. All right, well, let's start looking for some perks. Uh, oh, I can't open that. Holy shit. All right, well, I'll go in there in a second. What's this perk? Oh, tortoise. Let's go. I guess I'll take it even though I don't got my shield yet. Does it even do anything if I don't have a shield? I don't know. You know what? Let's use our field upgrade. Our special weapon, whatever it's called. And let's start leveling it up. All right, now what's in this room? The KN-94? Oh, no, I'm sorry. The vapor. Completely different weapon. We're on DEFCON 1 right now. I forgot what happens when you raise it. Is there anything to do in here? Or is it just a teleporter? I also can't remember how Pack-A-Punch worked on 5. I feel like I had to go through some sort of, uh, like, teleporter. But I don't remember how to unlock it. Alright, let's head up the elevator. We'll grab whatever perks we messed up here. Here's Dying Wish. Eh, let's hit the box one more time. What you got for me? Oh, monkey bombs. Let's go. And didn't we have a perk down here? Yeah, over here by our piggy. What's up, piggy? How much is stamina up? Oh, we can afford it. Let's go. We're definitely missing a perk, though. We had to have walked past time slip at some point. Oh, it's right here, but I'm too broke. Was I walking past it as I said we had to have walked right past it? I swear that wasn't on purpose. I am that dumb. So far, it doesn't look like our scientist buddy is here to come take our weapons. But in the little cutscene, it looked like he was here. So, uh, I don't know. Or at least he's playing a role in whatever's going on. All right, come here, time slip. And let's try to figure out Pack-A-Punch. So I know it's supposed to be in some sort of hidden room or something that I have to work my way to. What happens if I raise the DEF CON? I, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's through this door. Yeah. I need 115 clearance here. Okay, shout out Dying Wish for saving my dumb ass here. But I need to leave. Please let me out. Okay, well... 
That was fucking stupid. And we found our first shield part in here. Let's see if we can find all the shield parts without a guide. I'm going to assume the next part would be somewhere in this area. And then the one after that may be in the lab. Because those are like the three distinct areas of the map. And I think they'd be spread out like that. If not, then I'm an idiot. But that, that seems like a pretty decent thought. Have I used all these lovers? I think I have. Does it only go to DEF CON 4? There's another shield part. Let's go. Found one. So far, my theory is true. Pig, where's our last shield part? All right, well, I'm in quite a predicament. I got no ammo and barely any money. Okay, we'll, we'll open this door. Hopefully, we have a shield part in here. Oh, did I just see a part right there? Oh, my God. Oh, that's not a shield part. I thought I guessed right. Oh, no, no. Hell, hellhounds are spawning. Do hellhounds go towards uh, monkey bombs? I don't think so, right? Let's throw one anyways. Okay, yeah, no, they don't. They definitely don't. We're going to have to knife these bad boys and try to stay alive. Come on, guys. Let's uh, let's play nice here. Oh, this teleporter is open to office. Let's go. I'm going to go to office, hit the box, get a gun, take out these hellhounds. That's what's going to happen. Open up. Give me something good. Oh, I didn't see what it was. The hellhounds were in the way. Okay. Trade a pistol for a pistol. Ooh. Bah. Bah. Ah, switch back to the lab, please. No. Yes. I'm already almost out of ammo for this thing. This is bad. All right. Well, already out of ammo, but I saw a nuke. So I'm going to go hit that. If they'll allow me, please, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. I'm thinking I should probably just grab a gun at the wall. Is this a VMP? No, that's the Maddox. I'm taking that. That way we can buy some ammo down here while we still look for our part. Oh, there it is. No, don't rebuild the barricade. Let me pick up the part. Look at that. We sniffed out the whole shield. Now, where was that crafting bench at again? Over here. There we go. We got a ride shield now. Sick nasty. Now what? I'm going to try for like two more rounds to figure out pack a punch. And if I can't, I'm just going to look up a guide mid game. I feel like we've already figured quite a bit out. The thing I still have to try is putting the DEF CON to five. I just don't know where this last thing is. Is this it? Did I already use this one? Oh, there we go. Hey, DEF CON is now on five. So now what? What happens on DEF CON 5? I don't see anything opening up for me. No. No. Dying wish. Let's go. Everybody on the monkey bomb. Also, get the hell away from me. So I can get away from the monkey bomb. That's going to kill me. Oh, barely. Shout out Dying Wish. Saves my dumb ass so many times. Oh, what is this? We can teleport to George Washington. Oh, there's the pack a punch room. Let's go. Do I have to build it? What? That's just a part. That's where Pack-a-Punch used to be, right? Am I wrong? Don't tell me I got to build Pack-a-Punch. That's beyond fucked up. Because I have two out of the three parts that we need. We found one on the lower end, one right here. So if our same theory works with our shield, then the part we go for should be up in the office. I guess we'll go check. I doubt it'd be in the same room as where we found our shield part. That would be silly. I also don't think it would be in spawn room. I feel like it'd have to be in here. I'm not seeing it. This bag in here is like glowing. Oh no, that's not a bag. Also, what's that sound? Why was there just a big siren? Or a... It's just a storm, dick. That's it. I'm looking it up. Oh, I was so close to figuring it out. All right, I just watched the guide on it. Apparently, I need to go back to office. Good thing the teleporter just switched to it. And there should be an item somewhere over here. I was looking in this room too. I must have just missed it. Is it under the table? No. There it is. Found it. Okay. Now I need to find another buildables bench. If I was another buildables bench, where would I be? I think I remember seeing one down in the laboratory, so I'll go there. But also, we need to get our DEF CON to 5 to be able to activate it anyways. So I'll just hit that switch for now, and I'll leave the rest, because it does start going down once you activate it. Go down to lab. And one of those tables were in these rooms. Was it this one? Yep. Let's craft that. There we go. Our teleporter signal enhancer. Let's get this back to DEF CON 5. We already have that one up. Let's place our signal amplifier. DEF CON 3, DEF CON 4, and DEF CON 5. And now we can go to Pack Punch, baby. And I did spoil this for myself by looking at that guide, but we're back in area 51. This is Moon Starting Room, which is crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and pack a punch the, the Maddox, I guess. There we go. Give me that. Ooh, the pack cam on this looks crazy. Let's pack it again. So we can get an ammo mod on it. There we go. Ooh, it changes like different documents. Let's just keep repacking it as many times as we can. So we have a nice strong weapon. All right, I used all my money. Do zombies spawn like crazy here or what? Is this a rampage inducer? <laughs> oh shit, you know what? Maybe that's where they got the idea for it. Because Moon is like notoriously like the craziest spawn in zombies history. 
And then them putting that little lamp there, does that change anything? Or is that like paying homage to it? Is that what the rampage inducer is? That'd be sick if it was. Oh no. I've got myself in a pickle here. No, no Rick. Go the monkey bomb. Dying wish saving me yet again. No! I walked right into a zombie. I'm a fucking idiot. Right as my dying wish went away. All right, let's head back. And you know what? We've already made it this far. I'm just gonna go watch the guide for it real quick and see if there is a wonder weapon or anything else we can do on here. All right, I just watched a guide on how to get the wonder weapon and it seems extremely complicated. There's a lot of steps to this one. We have to like go around getting like pictures that have numbers on them and put them into this thing. And we need to grab a key from here first. I don't know if I grabbed it or not. I don't know if it tells you. But after we do that, we head back up to the office. Go ahead, teleporter switch, please. Thank you. And then while we're up here, we head on over to this desk all the way he over here. And I think we can open it up. One of these desks. Oh, there we go. We got it opened. What is it? I can't tell what map that is. Is that Doris? It looks like it. So we need to write Doris. 2503. And for this next part of the Easter egg, oh my god, go down, monkey bomb. Okay, I died. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna try to get back to the spot we were just at. And then we're gonna get this wonder weapon. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're sort of back to where we were, but we can start doing the Easter egg for this wonder weapon now. Let's get this opened. So Doris 9501. Write that down. Our next one is in the lab, and this is where we died while I was doing it. And apparently we wouldn't have been able to do it anyways. I died in the middle of saying like, oh, will monkey bombs even work for this? I don't think they would have, and neither would have our fire bombs. So we have to use this nade. Toss it back here. Hopefully that works. Nope. Let's throw it right there. That one worked. Okay, so now we have Shangri-La 5468. Let me write that down. All right, now we need to go to DEFCON 5, and we activate this one by starting with the one furthest away from the stairs. There's the first. The second one is in here in the server room, so let's throw this one on. And then next, we need to go back up the stairs, hit the one closest to them, and then we go back down and do the one down here in War Room. There we go. Now we head to the president's room. And this TV should now be on if we go and interact with it. Slides back. And I don't know what map that is. Is that Kino? I can't tell. 1022. And we can also grab this part while we're here. And for our next one, we're going to need to pack a bunch of weapons. So I got to save up some money and get a weapon that I actually want Pack-a-Punch. So I guess I'll see you guys when I got that. All right, I finally have enough money to get Pack-a-Punch and I got this Maddox out the box that is just about out of ammo. So let's head on over there, Pack-a-Punch that bad boy, and then let's repack it, get an ammo mod on it just because. And now we can start our next step. Now we've got to head to this deserted hallway, which is on the other side of this room. Do I have enough money to open the door? Yep. And we need to shoot them in this order. Three, two, one. Four. There we go. First try. And then six, five, six, three. And that one is Shino Numa. And now based on what the guide said, I think I just go back to the war room. And then when I'm there, we go up to that big computer and we enter in the numbers based on whatever pictures on the screen. So this one is, that's Ascension. Is it not? Okay, maybe that's not right. Okay, and the guide is telling me to use the Shino Numa numbers first. So let me try that. So six, five, six, three. I wish the zombie would just go away indefinitely and then six three let's try that okay that one worked that's shino numa perfect next they said to do doris that one worked now we do shing Rala's numbers which is five four six eight with the button on that okay now next we need to do kino oh i guess that's the only one we have left all right i finally got the code in let's do it there we go i think we did everything right yeah project whatever retrieved so now i'm pretty sure we just need to go to area 51 and survive three rounds there so let's get this baby to defcon 5 there we go defcon 5 and time to go to area 51 now all we got to do is survive three rounds there's one round already <laughs> I don't know if that counts. Maybe it's the entire round has to be here. But I guess we'll know when all this debris moves out of the way. I'm not too sure how the spawns work over here. Oh yeah, they do spawn up on the teleporter. I was gonna say, we can just camp the teleporter. But I don't think they'll allow us. Eh, maybe we could. Let's just try it. That's one round. Oh, jeez. Ooh, dying wish saved my life. Oh, right, this bad. All right, but that's two rounds. Very low ammo. And I just used my special, so that's fun. Maybe I should run around and not stand up there. All right, now I'm completely out of ammo. This is bad. Let's train the zombies up and just try to nade them. There's one nade. No! Oh, I forgot I had burned out on. 
Oh, and a max ammo. Beautiful. Exactly what we needed. Oh, there we go. We finished the rounds. Are these going to move out of the way now? They do. Let's go. We got a max ammo and a bonfire sale. Let me get a nice good look at this. I haven't seen this before. Sick nasty. I don't know what that does. Is pack a bunch cheaper? Is that what it is? Oh, it is. And then also we can head over here. Open the crate. Get out of here, hellhounds. Please don't knock me. Oh, get these bad boys out of here. Please fuck off. There we go. And we get this bad boy right here. The winter's howl. Let's pick that up. Ooh, Cold War Remedy, baby. Is this pack a punchable? Oh, it is. Let's go. Now it's Winter's Fury. Can we pack it again? Nope, just once. Looks pretty sick, though. Ooh, did that just freeze all of them? Hold on. Let's do a little more training and try that again. And skadoosh. Yeah, that fucks them all up. All right, well, I've done just about everything I want to do. I guess we'll head back. I'll grab all my perks and then we're going to go to area 51 and see how long we can last there. I'm, once we get there, I'm not leaving area 51. So if I go down and lose any perks, I'm going to be stuck like that. Is there any weapon spawns in area 51? I should have looked. Because ammo might become an issue. Now, my guess for how long we're going to survive, I'm going to say around 26. You know, just for me. Let's look around for a wall buy. I don't think there is one here. It'd be cool if there was, though. So we're going to have to live off of uh, the kindness of uh, the zombies gods dropping us max ammo. Especially because I only have 12 bullets left in this thing. Damn. Okay, so maybe we won't make it to round 26. I'll be surprised if we even make it to round 20. Let's just try to ration our ammo at the moment. Chop up a few zombies here and there. No biggie. And time to be out of ammo right about... Oh, shit. Anywhere but here? Probably shouldn't have drank that because now I'm back. Okay, well, did not mean to do that. Well, I mean, I did. But I didn't think about it when I did it, that it would take me out of Area 51. So let's try that again. Let's try the ICR then. Because if we do have to end up coming back, that's a nice close wall buy. And we can use this till it's out of ammo and then pack a punch it, get more ammo. And then I don't know if repack a punching it gives you ammo. I'm almost positive it doesn't. But we can at least have one time where we, if we need ammo, we can pack a punch the weapon. Back to the moon. And we are out of ammo for the ICR, not even a round in. Good thing our wonder weapon's kind of crazy. And now we'll just pack a punch it. There we go. Maybe what I should do is just train and then use the wonder weapon. That seems like a smarter idea than what I'm doing. And also, every time I loop around the right side here, I feel like I'm going to die. I always get cut off by a zombie. Let's try to get all of our boys grouped up here. And skadoosh. There we go. Oh, they dropped me a max ammo. All right. We can survive a little longer. Oh, we get a hellhound round right after just getting a max ammo. So it's not going to be useful at all. I wish they would drop a carpenter instead, and I can repair my shield. It's literally one hit away from breaking. Uh-oh, my shield's broke. Oh, wait, stuff drops here? Oh, shit. Let's go. All right, well, we can just repack this again. Is it every 10 rounds something drops? This could be possible, actually. Oh, now we get a carpenter when I already don't have a shield. Come on, game. Why don't you abide by my rules that I made up on the spot? All right, I think I found how to train. We'll just use this little area here. I think this is safer than going all around those boxes and everything. We just kind of walk around here, do a little stutter steps here and there. Get them all trained up and then skadoosh. Oh, shit. I didn't know I could just knife them after. That's sick. Okay. All right. Maybe we can get to round 26. And I wonder if it's going to drop the max ammo in the bonfire sale every five rounds or every 10. Let's see. Does it spawn in? Nope. Looks like maybe every 10 rounds. And we made it past round 26, actually. Past what I predicted. Not bad. Especially with not even being able to buy ammo here. We're making it through. I haven't used too much of this either. As long as we can just like have enough wonder weapon shots in our special weapon, we can get through like each five rounds until we get like a hellhound to spawn or the, the hellhound round to start. All right, this might be the last round before things go sideways. Every time I hit round 30, it gets super, or super difficult. I, I want to say super and stupid at the same time, and I said stupid. It's like Cupid soup. But either way, I think round 30 might be a little bit of a struggle. Based on my last track, uh, based on my track record, it might be a struggle. But I have a pretty good strat going so far. All right, we've made it to round 30. Does the bonfire and max ammo spawn? Huh. Why did it spawn twice then? Did I just get lucky? Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that was uh, the absolutely absurdly awful training by me. And uh, now we lost, uh, what the hell is it called? Dead Man's Wish or some shit like that. And Tortoise. I guess we don't really need Tortoise because we don't got a shield, but... Oh, it's Dying Wish. That's what it's called. Dying Wish. Dying Wish would be very helpful. 
That saved us on many occasions. Oh, shit. No! Well, I tried to trade my way out of there, and then I ran right into a wall. I was just swinging around with the katana mindlessly, and <sighs> didn't realize it was running out. But that was pretty good, honestly. Making around 31? Not bad. Anyways, classified's pretty cool. Uh, I like that some of these maps are remasters. And, you know, they have different twists on them from the original map. I really like that the Pack-A-Punch room is Moon's starting room, which is like my favorite starting room of all time. And the Wonder Weapon's pretty cool. The process to get it, it's a little complicated. I mean, not really complicated, but there's more steps to it than, you know, some other maps. But it's, it's a fun map. It's pretty cool to play. Really nice to go and see five again and see it in a new light, but I enjoyed myself. Anyways, that's where we're going to end the video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, Please start subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And if you'd like to, head on over to my Twitter. Drop me a follow. It mean a lot. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.